Hello and welcome to the channel. My name is Vijay and I am a Microsoft MVP. In this video, I am going to explain about the Power BI Desktop Query Editor. Now if you are new to Power BI then you can check out the previous tutorial that I have uh, uh, recorded and uh, it is there in the YouTube. So I will put the link in the comment section or in the description of this video. You will get to know about that. So now let us understand what is this Power BI Desktop Query Editor, why we require this. So we usually uh, have some data source from where we are loading our data to create the reports or the dashboards. Now how we will know that whether our data is clean and it is ready to create a report or this data I can use directly on creating a dashboard on the report. Now if the data is clean then it is okay you can go ahead and create the report but what will happen if the data is not in that way in that format which you are expecting or in it is not that clean then you might need to transform the data according to your requirement now imagine a scenario you have a uh, organization or you have a department who is sending you the data or the data source is coming from themselves so they are not quite familiar with the formatting that required. They are the business users, they are just using it and then they will send the Excel. Now ultimately when you are creating a report for them, then you have to format it so that the, the report will come correctly or as expected. In those scenarios, we, you require uh, to, uh, to use this Power BI Desktop Query Editor. Now when, when I'm saying cleaning, uh, then there's two things are there. One thing is for example, uh, you will do some uh, rename or remove some columns or uh, you want to merge some column or you want to uh, uh, remove some blank uh, rows from there or you want to remove some duplicate rows you want to uh, create some uh, filters or group by something like that the other way is you can you have to you, are, you want to do some calculate over there that is also required for example if there is a quantity is there there is one price is there then you might require to create a uh, or you might require to uh, create a uh, total price column which will be a quantity into price so that will be that way so now when you will open your Power BI desktop and when you will select a data source or when you will choose a data source, that time two things will come. It will ask you to transform the data or to load the data. So these two, uh, uh, these two options will come in the Power BI desktop. Now this load means it will directly load your data from your data source. The transform means it will open your Power BI desktop query editor which will use to format or to transform your data. Now let me show you. So let's open our Power BI desktop and then uh, I have installed this Power BI desktop and I will open it. So once you will open it, you can select the data source. I have also created a video on that, how we can select a data source from SharePoint as well as from Excel as well. So you can check out the video. I will put this link in the comment section or in the video description. Now we have this data. So I will select Excel and then we will select Excel file from here. So let's say I have this products and I'll select this. Now when you will actually load this, you can see here, I will select this data sheet. This is what is the data I have. And uh, here I want to either load, you can see here the options either load or it is come saying that you can transform the data. Even if you load it uh, later, you can open the query editor. So it is not like first time only you have to do that. So imagine I'll load it here. So if you will see here, if I have load the data, then you can see the data is loaded here so if you will go to the tables uh, or the data you can see the data has been loaded and uh, anytime if you will go to the home page then there is a transform data is there so if you will click on that then you can click the, this first option transform data if you are using an older version of power bi desktop then you can probably see an option called as edit queries so that is the same option. So now this one transform data, if I'll click on this, then it will open a separate editor. You can see here, if I'll just minimize it, you can see here. Now this is a separate editor that, that which is opening. And in this case, if you look at this, uh, this is what we can format the data. You have some options here. You can see in the ribbon, you can this transform column is there, add column is there, where you can add columns and you can do some conditional column, index column, duplicate column, all these things, options are there. 
and this is uh, where you can split the column you can see here you can change the data type you can use the first row as header you can do a group by so all this transformation or the formatting that you can do here and the left side you have the query option and here in the properties or in the query string you have the properties as well as you have the options or, or, or the steps that you have applied for example if i will just change one thing here for example instead of customer location i will rename it and i will just remove customer from here i want only location you can see here it is saying that rename column and if i'll close it you can see here there's a cross mark if i'll close this that uh, the step got changed i mean it is undo and then you can see your previous option so anytime you can come here and you can modify it now let me uh, load uh, the data let me just first of all once your data formatting is done they can use close and apply so that it will uh, apply and then the, data, the editor would get close now imagine i will uh, create one more excel or i'll upload one more excel from here and then if you see here for example i will store this stores here so when you will actually load it you can see here for example in this case i want to load the store table and then you can see you have the option you have the load or have the transform data so the last time we loaded the data now click on transform so when you click on transform you, you will come up with the same editor where you can do all these changes for example in this case if geographic key is there if you want to give a space on that you can just click on rename here and you can put a space and you can see here also the query the step it is saying that you you renamed the column and uh, so this is how we can work with the query editor where you can do some data transformation or the formatting by using this editor which is free with uh, with uh, your power bi desktop and this is quite useful because a lot of time your data source will not be in the actual format or you will not get a clean data so that time this will be helpful and you can use this query editor and sometimes actually the question comes whether i will do load directly or i will use the transform data or the what the i'll open the formatting that really depends on what exactly you are trying to do what is your requirement at the same time what is the data source you are getting whether the data is in proper formatted are you thinking that this is the data that you can use directly on the report then you can directly load it but if you thinking no i need to really format it then you can use the transform data but it's not a very hard and fast rule it has an option that microsoft provided but anytime even if you have already loaded you can come there and you can uh, transform the data that is throughout your creating a report or anytime you can come and do that steps also now if you like our videos then uh, subscribe to the channel so you will get a lot of videos on on sharepoint office 365 svfx power bi power apps flow all these things and these are our website so you will see um, a lot of video tutorials a lot of tutorials articles you will check here and these are our uh, social handles so you can just follow us in twitter linkedin or facebook you can like our pages and thank you and have a nice day